Tomorrow is sweet cause we're all gonna meet at Kodiak. I'm Sherry Stock and I'm one of the directors at Camp Kodiak and during the year I'm a special education teacher in Ontario. If a child is having trouble learning something that you're teaching them, or if they're not quite mastering a routine that they've done many, many times, you have to consider the possibility that you haven't given them enough structure and support in order to be independent and successful. A, a strategy that I find is very, very powerful and uh, is highly underused is visual prompts. And a visual prompt is anything that a child can look at so that they know how to do a skill. It can be a list, it could be a picture or a symbol or a calendar even. Uh, and you put it right in the space where the child is having difficulty. Um, so you analyze where their problem is and you give them a visual prompt in order to bridge the gap between being reliant on an adult's instructions and being able to do the task or the skill completely independently. I'm gonna give you a few examples of how you might use visual prompts at home or at school. So you might have a to-do list for your child when they get home from school, and it has all the tasks that need to be accomplished that afternoon and evening. It could say, you know, walk the dog, do your homework, practice piano, take a shower. Uh, or if there is a routine that they're having trouble uh, solidifying, like getting ready for school, you can write down all the, list, all the steps in a list. You can put that list in a plastic page protector and give your child a whiteboard marker so they can check off the steps as they go. Or if your child's version of an organized and clean room looks a little different than yours, you can help them clean up an area of their room, like their desk or their bookshelf, and take a picture of it. So when you ask your child to do that task independently, they have a picture of what the finished product should look like. At school, you might want to uh, ask the teacher to make sure the instructions uh, are always at the top of the worksheet so that your child remembers what they need to be doing. Uh, you can highlight the keywords in um, a math word problem or an essay question to keep your child on track. Or you can have an annotated sample problem that shows them how to uh, factor polynomials or how to do long division. And you can collect these sample problems in a math strategies binder. You can have a section for definitions, a section for formulae, and you can teach your child how to use that strategy binder when they're doing their work. You can even maybe talk to your child's teacher about whether it would be an appropriate accommodation to use the strategy binder for assessments, especially if your child has difficulties with working memory. To learn more about using visual prompts and other teaching techniques, please visit our website at www.campkodiak.com and look in the blog for our video called Prompts. Thanks a lot.